The shotgun is fantastic for those with a higher in-game precision than others, who want the headshots, the more rare sniper-like attributes, and an insane damage range. The downside, the slug types are incredibly picky and you more or less cling to a lottery drop to 20 when taking a mid-long range rifle shot with this shotgun, as the spread of the pellets land around the target, and rarely dead on in some cases, leading you to better accuracy by literally missing a target by a hair intentionally. At close range, this gun is both perfect and a feat of the, for the brazen, as accuracy with the center of the reticle when not in first-person ADS is a literal golden key. Seriously, you can't hit an enemy a hair away from you if you miss by a millimeter, regardless of the round used. The more accurate the ammo, the worse at close range this gun becomes. Hitting multiple enemies at one time with this gun is very easy. However, you won't do much more damage and knock them over or delay their firing at you for a second or so, which brings the next point. Reloading this gun is both very fast and easy. As a triple barreled shotgun with large rounds, it takes about 2 seconds before you're able to fire it. However, the rate of fire is incredibly fast even with the fire rate lowered with attachments, which in sticky situations can make reloading the actual burden when you're getting shot at. While ADS with the gun is no with normal rounds at around 20 yards in game, it is very deadly. In fact, it goes right through a non-armored enemy and through any wood that may be behind it, with a possible fireball I might add, especially at close range. The 90 ADS performance is tricky because it requires memorizing the spreads of the ammo types you're using, the odds of hitting the center of your reticle with that spread, and the part of the enemy you're trying to hit, which leads to massive ammo usage in a short period of time. The limit for this is at around 60 yards with an enemy placed at about double the center reticle dot in size. It simply doesn't hit with stock attachments. Not that you would normally try that, especially without a silencer option. The iron sights on this gun are great for pretty much all rangers, given that the front and rear sight is lined up very well with each other, and the th tiniest of the front sight, you can be very accurate up to the gun's total range, which is about 60 meters, give or take, even though its potential range at best shot is about 40. The accuracy with the mouse versus controller has its faults too, as I cannot aim nearly as precisely with my mouse as I can otherwise, so for me, using my mouse with this gun at range is pointless. While I prefer it for close quarters simply due to the scale of view movement you can use for quickly switching between enemies while ADS, which you cannot do effectively in this game with the controller. In general, this gun is a good fit for the game. It has extreme range without exceptional difficulty with aiming, and while it attracts lots of attention due to its short handling time, it's easy to eliminate multiple threats in singular succession, and using the right ammo does make a big difference if you know the target you're shooting at and whether you're ADS or not. It has three equal barrels, so you can aim... At so if you aim accurately, you can deal with the extra enemy that may not be on the hunt, or stairs without a problem, and even using non-lethal shots are enough to take out an enemy, so partially missing isn't always a miss, and the odds are in your favor due to this gun's high spread but long range, which shotguns aren't known for. It's ideal for the standard player as it's got three barrels but lacks in general speed spread accuracy under 10 meters regardless of aim, and you cannot s and you can snipe equipment from well over 100 meters away, but you don't have enough ammo to get a kill at that distance. Overall, I would recommend this gun to any shooter in the game, and if you want more, subscribe and leave a like.